Hi there. One of the calculations that you may be required to undertake in your business exams is one involving exchange rates. So in this business topic video, we'll take a look at what an exchange rate is and uh, how to do the key calculations. Now, the starting point for understanding the calculation is to remember what an exchange rate is designed to do. It's the, uh, the price determined by the forces of demand and supply of one currency expressed in terms of another currency. And what happens with the exchange rate is it determines how much of one currency you have to give away or give up in order to get a specific amount of another currency. So it's a conversion rate. The exchange rate is a conversion rate that determines the price of one currency in terms of another. With that in mind, let's have a look at an example of an exchange rate and, and then you'd how, how you calculate the application of an exchange rate in a business situation. So for example, let's have a look at this, uh, this exchange rate here. One pound buys one dollar fifty, one US dollar fifty. So for every pound you have in your pocket, if you want to buy US dollars, one pound will get you one dollar fifty. That's the price of one pound expressed in dollars. That's the pound dollar exchange rate. And of course, exchange rates can be expressed between any combination of currencies. The key thing to remember about exchange rates is that it has wide application in business, in business life. So, for example, the exchange rate between, say, the pound and the euro will determine or influence the selling price, the affordability of uh, exports from the UK in international markets in Europe. It also determines or influences the cost of items or goods that you buy from overseas if you're paying for those in foreign currencies or overseas currencies. If a business has operations and businesses overseas and it wishes to report the revenues and profits earned by that business, it will need to translate those revenues and profits using a suitable exchange rate back into, for example, pounds. <clears throat> and of course, it could be that the business wants to uh, convert cash receipts that it's received from overseas customers into local currency and it will need to convert those cash receipts using an exchange rate. So it's widely used. Let's just have a look at an example of how you use the exchange rate to convert one currency into another. And here we've got an example of a business in the UK, Prior Imports, and its business is buying fancy dress costumes from a supplier in China and selling them into the UK market. So it's importing fancy dress costumes from the supplier and the supplier invoices uh, the UK business prior imports in US dollars, often happens. And this month, the supplier has sent an invoice for $20,000 worth of fancy dress costumes that have been sent, presumably in a large container that's arrived in the UK. Prior Imports now needs to pay that invoice. That's a, an invoice that's owed to the supplier. It needs to pay $20,000. But what is the pound cost of those goods? <clears throat> well, in this case, we're told the information that the pound to dollar exchange rate is one pound equals 1.45 US dollars. So have a go at calculating what the pound cost of those goods is of the $20,000. And you should be able to work out by, by dividing the US dollar amount, $20,000, by the exchange rate. So we need to convert the dollars into pounds where we know that uh, $1.45 will get us a pound. Divide the dollar number, 20000 It's going to cost us £13,793 to pay the $20,000 invoice from the supplier. Now, of course, the other key thing to remember about exchange rates is that they are constantly changing, constantly moving, and this has an effect on, uh, for example, the value of revenues or the, the amount of costs. So let's just have a look at one final example on exchange rates. Without going into too much detail, we're not going to explain why exchange rates change. Let's just have a look at the effect of them here. So in this case, we've got a table which shows three different values and it's the same value but three different lines of sales and in each case uh, in terms of euros the sales are a hundred thousand euros and the question is what is the pound value of those euros at different exchange rates well let's start with the first exchange rate one pound is equal to 1.25 euros so if we convert a hundred thousand euros of sales into pounds that converts into 
£80,000. Now, what happens if the euro uh, strengthens against the pound? The pound becomes weaker. The pound is less valuable compared with the euro. For example, it falls to one euro ten. Well, the effect of that is to increase the value of sales because we don't need so many euros to get a pound. We only need 1.1 euros to get a pound rather than 1.25. Similarly, if the pound strengthens against the euro, in other words, the pound buys more euros, then the value of those 100,000 euros is going to be less in pound terms. It falls significantly to 66,666. So you can see that uh, a change in the exchange rate can have a significant effect on the pound value of sales in this case, or also costs. So there we go. That's just a brief introduction to how you use calculations involving exchange rates.